For the second cuff, we're going to create an elasticated casing for this end. So you could use this technique for um, cuffs, you can use it for um, like on trousers or on sleeves, um, or it's the same sort of finish that you might use on pyjamas or uh, an elasticated skirt. So this edge is going to be, I'm going to turn it inside out first, it'd be easier. So I'm going to turn this edge of the short sleeve up by by two centimetres. So I'm going to measure it and then I'm going to press this edge up. And I'm going to do that all the way round. So that's turned up and pressed all the way round. So I've got a, a crease all the way around the sleeve. And then I'm going to just turn this raw edge under by half a centimetre and I'm going to press that a little crease all the way around as well, making sure I don't press out the crease that I've already got. Okay, so this has now been turned up by half a centimetre and I've still got my crease from before so I can fold that back and pin that in place, turned up like that, all the way around. So, turn that up And I'm going to feed elastic through this, so I'm going to make sure you've got the right size elastic. Now if I wanted to use this elastic, that isn't going to fit because it's too wide. So I could have created a wider casing, but I'm going to use some narrow elastic and that's going to feed all the way around there quite easily. So my next stage is to stitch. I'm going to leave a gap here, but I'm going to stitch the whole all the way, uh, all the way around the rest of it. I'm going to stitch quite close to this edge here. So I'll put some pins in first to make sure that it's going to stay in the right place where I've folded it. I'm going to take the pins out as I go along. Okay. So because my cuff is quite small, I'm going to need to stitch it this way up, going under the foot, but making sure that I'm not catching the rest of the sleeve underneath there and I only want to stitch um, a couple of millimetres away from this bottom folded edge so stitching about there and remembering to leave a gap across the seam allowance when I do that. So I'm stitching it here quite close to the folded edge stop just before the seam line so that I've left the gap. Yeah, so you see I've left the gap there that I can feed the elastic through so I just stitch and finish off here. Okay so I'm take my narrow elastic and just thread it through the eye of this needle and then I'm going to be able to pass it through the hole that I've left there and all the way around. I want to make sure that the elastic is not twisted anywhere and I also want to make sure that I don't lose the ends of the elastic and I have to do that again so I just sort of feel all the way around and just untwist where it has got a little bit twisted. And then I'm just going to pull it in a little bit so that once that's done up it has got sort of an elastication but I don't want it to be ridiculously tight and um, it's just to sort of demonstrate how a casing can be formed um, and then the ends of the elastic I'll just cut those off there and then I'm going to pull them out a little bit further and then I want to overlap them like that and then zigzag across here so that that will sit flat now you could stitch them like this, like you would do a seam and just stitch across here, but you'll end up with this 
bit that could be quite bulky so I'm going to lay them flat over each other like that and then zigzag across those. So I've set the machine to zigzag, I've got the elastic overlapping I'm just going to zigzag over it and it's slightly less narrow. So over it so that the elastic's really secure. That's not going to come over my face. So now that's done I can just cut the edges and cut the threads and then feed it into the casing. I'll just trim these off. So I'm just going to stitch to close this gap here in the casing and I can start by doing a few stitches forwards and back to secure and then stitch all the way along to meet the stitches here. So that's the casing finished. So from the right side you've just got that visible stitch there and then from the inside you can see where I've turned the fabric over. So I can turn that sleeve to the right side and then that part of the sample is finished. So both sleeves are in and both cuffs are done. There we go.